good morning friends today we are going to observe the drosophila external morphology by using a stereo binocular digital microscope so we know that uh, drosophila is known as the cinderella of genetics so it has been extensively studied for genetic research studying the morphology so you need simply one digital microscope and you need to install the application for it and you can simply project it and uh, just you need to you know focus the different part of the drosophila and you can see the uh, main feature of the drosophila you can distinguish by seeing the red eyes though they have a different uh, mutant and variations like orange vermilion's white eyes so let's see what it says okay so we are here to see the drosophila under the microscope so if i uh, turn on the light Okay, so this is the red eye drosophila as you see here and it has two wings so it belongs to the order Diptera, diamonds two. So this is one uh, red eye drosophila and if I try to focus the another one uh, that is there in the close proximity. So here you can see this one from the front dorsal view. It's also wild type uh, red-eyed drosophila. Drosophila what means the dew lover. They normally prefer to uh, live in the moisture. And uh, here we have the another one. This is the side view of the drosophila. So as per the third chromosome, group mutant Morgan and Bridges, since uh, the work on drosophila has been initiated from 1909 and 10, mainly by the TH Morgan and his colleagues about 400 mutant has been found and Drosophila melanogaster is a species of fly often referred to as the fruit fly or it's known as a vinegar fly or pomacy fly they normally prefer to eat yeast corn agar you know the cell wall of the red algae they prefer to eat those kind of thing fruits like that size normally that you are uh, you know getting here approximately 3 millimeter in length and 2 millimeter in width and as we have said as we have discussed they belong to the order diptera and you can see the fly is almost a little yellowish in color and important uh, you know eye color is red that is their umatidia and uh, you know these are cosmopolitan insect they are uh, you know observed all part of the world except Antarctica and uh, the species is known as a lover of dew. So today we will study mainly the how to differentiate male and female and uh, uh, their diet is frugivorous, herbivorous we know and why should we use it as a model organism because it has a very short lifespan and simple genome structure so that you can study it very easily in comparison to study the very very complex creature and lifespan of the drosophila is if, if you keep in a room temperature 25 to 26 degrees celsius it will survive for you know approximately three months or 90 days and it's less approximately approx two months or 70 days uh, if uh, they are not getting proper environment to survive so uh, basically due to its a uh, non-paced nature short lifespan and simple genome very easy contrastable you know phenotype that correspond their genes and their larva also have a polythene chromosome so due to uh, having this multiple features they have been studied extensively since 1910 and uh, you know year after so now if you if you focus on their legs it's it's a female drosophila because if you see the first dorsal leg if I try to keep my needle close to its first tarsal, you can see here, this is their eye and this is the first tarsal. It doesn't have any comb, sex comb. So due to the absence of the sex comb, you can see it is a female drosophila. And in case of a male drosophila, they have a six comb and the first tarsal of the first thoracic legs. So this is uh, the basic, uh, you know, in informations about the drosophila, about their lifespan, their feeding habit, and uh, this will help you to 
you know understand this fly to culture and uh, for further research in coming videos we shall be talking about it um, how it can be used for further different uh, multiple you know research work so for today it's all thank you so much